juice now? Who got the juice now? I got the juice. Who got the juice now? I got the juice now. Who got the juice? Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Juice. Uh, just here to show a quick gaming video, a uh, little tutorial for the newly released Link's Awakening remake on the Nintendo Switch. What I'm going to be showing you here is a quick and easy way to farm rupees at the very beginning of the game. What you're going to want to do is after you get your sword and shield, you're going to want to head straight to the trendy game house. I recommend you go in there with at least 50 rupees because it costs 10 rupees per play, but you can get those rupees very easily by cutting the grass outside of the trendy game house. The first and second time you play the game in uh, the trendy game house is actually for key items. There are some rupees in here, but this isn't the farming portion yet. It is actually the third time that you play in the trendy game house that you will be able to start actually farming the rupees because you have a purple rupee and a red rupee every time you reset uh, from here. It's very important that you don't collect the heart. Otherwise, there's going to be a whole new set of uh, things to collect. Now, you might be asking, reset, what does that mean? It just Resetting just means that you have left the game house before collecting all three items that were presented. And uh, once you re-enter, the three items will be there again. And this is where the farming technique comes in. And I've seen other gamers say, you know, you should just farm the purple rupee on your first go through. But I find this to be a little bit faster because... You know, you're gaining more rupees. It's only 10 more, but at the end of the day, you're still getting more rupees than you would if you had just farmed the uh, purple rupee the first time. So, yeah, that's it. You know, just collect all of the items the first two times that you go into the trendy game house and then keep resetting the third go through. And you'll be able to farm a ton of rupees in the beginning of the game.